Hi, it's John here. Now I've been looking at um, brain waves, different sorts of brain waves. I've just found this website. It's called Mind Mind Your Reality. So <coughs> it's sort of like play on word mind. And if you Google that, you'll get to it. Brain waves and deeper states of consciousness. Every part of your body vibrates at its own rhythm. Your brain has a unique set of brain waves. In neuroscience, there are five distinct brain wave frequencies, namely beta, alpha, theta, delta, and the lesser known gamma. Now, gamma is like the Mozart effect, one if anybody knows that. Um, each frequency is measured in cycles per second, which is hertz. has its own set of characteristic representing a specific level of brain activity and hence a unique state of consciousness. Now beta between 12 and 30 hertz, beta brain waves are associated with normal waking consciousness and a heightened state of alertness, logic and critical reasoning. As you go about your daily activity you are in beta. Right, okay, we know about that. So normally we're in beta, so we're pretty sharp. But you're not always in beta. If you get phoned up at night um, and you ca don't quite remember where you are or anything, then you're not in beta, but I'm not sure whether you're in alpha. But alpha is the, is the good one. Alpha between 7.5 and 12 hertz. Alpha brain waves are present in d deep relaxation with the eyes usually closed and while daydreaming. The relaxed, detached awareness achieved during light meditation is characteristic of alpha and is optimal for programming your mind for success so like if you're going into uh, hypnotism alpha heightens your imagination visualization memory learning and concentration it lies at the base of your consciousness conscious awareness and is the gateway to your subconscious mind the we owned oh no that's just going on to sub uh, some uh, commercial stuff now but that's basically uh, basically it so th that's the main one there's, there's three three main ones beta which you're normally in alpha which is the the good one um, really peaceful really uh, really constructive sort of stuff and then gamma which is if you want to really get some stuff done um, which is like when you're doing the Mozart effect so you, you you've got a lot of work to do and you, you want the inspiration um, I don't think the other two types are quite so important, but uh, I'll have to look into that more a bit later. Right, bye.